I got involved in some simple community organizing that was being done and uh, it turned into a chapter of Black Lives Matter Global Network. Uh, and we have continued to do that work in Tampa for the last five years. A lot of people ask, you know, why is this necessary? You know, there, there are a lot of problems in the world. Any white person in our society can simply say, this black person appears to be up to something. And any and all possible consequences up to death can befall that person of color. And that's what this movement is about. We need to examine how we got here and what is this soup that we're in that deems black lives not to have enough value to even make it to the courts. Before the sun went down Sunday, police deployed tear gas on protesters. They were trying to disperse, but not comply. So this is not my full-time job. Like, I have a full-time job. I have car payments, I have bills, you know, I have health insurance, you know, to pay for. Um, this is a another full-time job that I do in addition to my day job. Um, this is a labor of love. The protest aspect, it's the part that people see. But there's an entire body of work that's not sensational, it's not sexy. Uh, no one cares about it. The GoFundMes, the, the funeral funds. Once the cameras go away from these families, they still need to know that they're being held by community. And more often than not, it's us that fill that space. It's us that build these long-term relationships. the toll that it takes on us as individuals. Uh, there was a period where I was very, very depressed. I think that the straw that broke the camel's back was Jesus Cervantes in uh, Plant City. He made a call to the police and he was killed uh, when they picked him up. Um, and to see his family, to see his children literally wailing on the spot where he died, to see his wife so aggrieved that she couldn't even stand our focus, you know, on what was being said. And we stood there, we prayed the rosary in the rain, and I still get emotional when I think about it. Uh, and after that, it took a long time for that team that was on site that day uh, to recover because we were enveloped in the part of this that is the, the human toll. It's not a headline, it's not a hashtag, it's you looking right into the eyes of people who've had their lives turned upside down. And what can you say? You know, there's no bouquet of flowers for that. That's just devastation. People don't consider what it's like to constantly organize and work in the specter of death and then try to live your own life and all of the human issues that come with being a person. Imagine what that's like to, to love your community so much that you would spend day and night and night and day and the only benefit that you get is a better world. I think that's love. That's what love is, if it's anything. We gonna be all right. It's our duty to fight for our freedom. It's our duty to fight for our freedom.